nice tone. Thank you. And you're playing on a wonderful silver saxophone. Yes. Yeah. It's very just, pretty, yes. I just got it yesterday. Oh, nice. So, so beaming about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nice. I, I, I like you. silver. I have a silver saxophone myself. Thank you. So the first thing that I want to talk to you about is um, the articulation at the beginning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that how you think a string player would play it? No. How would a string player play it? If this was a violin, and we know that it's piano, mm -hmm. how do you think a violin would play? Very smooth. Very smooth. Juan, what else? Um, really like, t um, I'm a string player, I should know this. Um, very smooth and like, not really, you know, stopping the note, just keep going, and mm -hmm. just very loose. So would they, would they strike the string like this? No. Right? Right. It'd be a very delicate sort of thing, mm -hmm. right? So when we play it on the saxophone, like we said, this was not originally for the saxophone. Yeah. We have to approach it like a string player would. talked about um, with the first young lady who played the tango. This is music that people would dance to. Have you ever seen a, a Baroque dance before? Mm -hmm. You have? You know, women wear the, the big, huge hoop skirts, and it's very courtly, and it's all synchronized, yeah. and, you know. So this is, we're, we're playing music for people to dance to. Mm -hmm. So once we get into the eighth, to the, to the 16th, the, the quicker thing, we have to really think a more upbeat character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You hear it's really light and almost airy. There's like an airy quality about it. Mm -hmm. Not in the tone, not an airy tone, but just in the character. Yeah. So why don't you start right here, the pickups into the fifth measure there, and really think about people would dance to this music. So really think about that sort of quality as you play this. Okay. Good. Let's stop right there. Let's just talk about this. <clears throat> so as we as we cut off the notes, don't think about stopping the air abruptly or stopping with the tongue, but a lift. Okay. D D D D D D D D D D. Not da 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 da. Okay. Do you hear a difference? Yeah. And don't touch the tongue to the reed again. Okay. It's like uh, like a bell or like a triangle. Have you ever played one of those? No. Have you, you've never rang a bell in well, your life? Okay, yes. Okay. Well, if you ever rang a bell, does the bell go ding? No. It goes da. Right? And we're going to do this very quickly, but this is the same sort of thing. Dee 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 da. Okay. Just let the sound sort of resonate. Don't stop the air abruptly, okay? okay? Right? And well, if, if you were recording yourself, you could listen back and you yeah. could make this determination for yourself. Let's try playing it together. Okay. Ready? tell a difference this time. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because I was playing and I was doing it. But could you tell a difference in just the quality of this of the character of this? Dee -dee 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 -dee. Now so that's the other thing. Let's talk about the tempo here. Right? Mm -hmm. This is adagio, right? So what does adagio mean? Um like moving but you know not like very fast. Sure, not very fast, yeah. right? So if our opening tempo is dee dum bum bum now that we're playing sixteenth notes People would dance to this, so let's move the tempo along just a little bit. Okay. okay? Don't love the notes so much. Mm 
Okay. All right? <laughs> Let's start right there with the, the, the F pickup. I'll give you a tempo. Two for nothing. Okay. One, two. <laughs> contrast in this piece. Like several of the other pieces we talked about today, he's got piano, there's a mezzo forte, there's a forte, but aside from that, there's really just not much going on here in terms of, in terms of dynamics. And now yeah. this would have all not been original dynamics even, more than likely you would have to check the original score, but this is probably Sigurd Rasher's indication. So you can take a little bit more of this. Go back to, to what the original players did. Listen, have you ever heard a string player play this piece? No. I think it'll, if you'll, there's many recordings on YouTube, I think that if you'll find it, uh, and the other consideration is that it's not called Sonata Number 3, originally. Oh. Am I correct on this? No. I'm fairly certain that it's, you have to do a little bit of research for Handel, okay. but he's got a catalog, it's Opus yeah, it's 120 something. something, you have to do a little bit of research, but um, it's not originally Sonata Number 3, that's the first thing you know, but if you'll find this, a recording, it'll really change the way that you hear this piece and that you think about approaching it. So, with that in mind, with these dynamics, really, you know, do the dynamics that you have marked, because you've already got some in here, but I'm not quite hearing them. Okay. Okay? So let's go back. Um, why don't we start right, right here after this breath into A? Okay? And think about that. And I'll help you along, too, as I'll okay. conduct a little bit beside you here. <laughs> several indications in here of where to put vibrato, even back at the beginning. Yeah. But did you do them? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> and that's fine. It's a choice. Vibrato, yeah. when we add vibrato to a note, it's a particular color that we're adding to that note. But if we decide to not do vibrato, that's also a color. And that's such a decision that we make as, as an interpreter. But we know that this is string music. Yeah. Right? And we know that in this time they would have played with vibrato, so we should play with vibrato. Okay. Okay? So what I'm going to have you do is, is I'm going to have you start just the first four measures again, and then, okay. you know, we'll continue this throughout the piece. But play vibrato. So the first thing is the tempo, right? We have a little bit quicker tempo, but okay. also the style 
Very subtle notes, not right. That's the first. That's the second thing. But thirdly, add vibrato where it is, and this is a nice, colorful, more quick vibrato. Okay, mm -hmm. try it. still do it with the same intensity, right? There's a difference between same secret as playing faster with the fingers. Do you know what that secret is? More air. I mean, that helps, but, you know, you just have to move faster, right? That's the secret. <laughs> you write it down. Don't forget it. That's the secret to playing faster. You need to play faster, you move your fingers faster. You need to do faster vibrato, you got to move your jaw faster. That's the secret. Okay. Right? Am I missing something? Like... <laughs> no. No, I'm just no. being funny. But, okay. But there's still, there's still, there's still, there's still, there's still, I've been in school for, for 15 years, I got a doctorate degree. That's what I learned. That's the secret, okay? And I'm okay. giving it to you for free today. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> teach you all, there's a way that you can, is this a metronome as well? Yes. Alright, so I'm going to teach you a little exercise right now. So this is, if we're thinking 108, let's think half of this. Aha. Alright. So what I want you to do, when we're going to practice vibrato, and it's just going to be on one note, okay? Right. So I want you to think, <clears throat> I want you to think 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay? Okay. Right, so I want you to do one pulsation, then two, then three, then four. It'll sound like this. I'll play it first, then you play after me. Okay? okay. Some of you are going to play that. We would play with, with a much slower vibrato. Right? But if we were playing the doll concerto, we wouldn't play with the same sort of vibrato. It's a more intense vibrato. Do you see what I'm saying? So when we play something like this, we really have to think about the vibrato that's appropriate for the piece. Mm -hmm. Okay? And that's just one way that you can do to practice this. Okay. All right? Okay. And you can even change the tempo. But I think that if you will concentrate on the rate of your vibrato when we do something like this, then, you know, the style will, will come. Okay. All right? Do you have any questions about it? I don't think so. Don't now, does anybody, does anybody have any questions in general? Let's give her a hand. Thank you so much. Thank you. 